Hi all, Planicide Agent here. Uh, today I'm going to take another look at my uh, aluminum canister alcohol burner. Um, what prompted this was um, yesterday I did a video and test on the uh, Mini Bowl Design uh, Turbo Gnome stove and uh, I was very impressed with its performance. Now, the tie between these two stoves is I originally saw these online, and that's kind of where I got the idea. It's just a I'll review this real quick. The Turbo Gnome is just a aluminum cylinder, and it's got uh, carbon felt put down inside, and then it has these turbo holes, which improves the the performance. So I've originally seen those, and I, that's kind of where I got the idea when I saw these little canisters. I thought, you know, you could make a stove out of these. And, you know, fill it with carbon felt. And the nice thing about this one is with the addition of a O-ring I got from the hardware store, you could uh, seal it up and store your alcohol fuel in, in it, much like you do with uh, with the Trangia. That way you have the, the fuel with you. Where these open stoves like this, you know, you, you, you got to burn the fuel off. And you, some, some stoves you can actually pour back in the bottle, but... Uh, these, because of the felt, it absorbs the fuel. It's impractical. Anyway, you just put as much in as you need to uh, boil your water or cook your meal, and that will come with experience how much you can put in. But anyway, that's not what this topic's about. So that's kind of where I got the idea for this. So uh, I went ahead, and on the first time, I did. Uh, it does work. It's slow, but... Uh, I got to thinking, you know, with the uh, turbo holes in this, I wonder if it improved performance. So I went ahead and I made a uh, turbo ring, which is just, was just a strip of uh, aluminum pop can, and with uh, holes punched in it, used a uh, your old hand hole puncher for notebook paper, or for paper, and uh, that fits inside nicely, and there I get my my turbo holes. So I did I did this one and it did improve the performance quite a bit, uh, the boil test that I did. And then uh, I got to thinking or looking at this one and there's, there's a lot more holes in there. So I wondered if by punching more holes in my turbo ring, if that would in, in improve the performance even more. So I went ahead and did that. And I ran another test. Uh, and since I don't didn't remember, since it's been a while since I did the original test, uh, I didn't remember anything. And I did that was before I had the the thermometer, the temperature thermometer or uh, timer. And uh, so I, I decided, well, I'm just going to go ahead and redo all the boil tests, just uh, so all things being equal. That before I was just eyeballing the boil, you know, when it started rolling boil, I guess the time. This time we'll we'll go for the 212. That way. All the tests will be consistent. Uh, use the same amount of fuel. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, retest it with uh, with just without the turbo hole uh, turbo ring. The the uh, this is a uh, a seven hole and this is a thirteen hole turbo ring. And I'm going to do a boil test for each of these and see what the difference performance uh, for a pot stand. I'm going to go ahead and use the pot stand I got for this stove that's part of a, uh, a cook kit that I put together with one of those uh, nylon water bottle holders. And so this, this works as a uh, pot stand and a wind uh, shield, a windscreen. And also I can double as a wood burner if I want to do that. So, And this fits in here nicely in the middle. And you get uh, an inch and a quarter between the top of the uh, burner and the top of the pot stand. So you're one inch, you're in that one inch, one and a quarter inch uh, sweet spot for alcohol burners. So that's the, uh, so that's the plan. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, turn you guys off, set up for the first test, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I think I'm ready. I've got the water prepped. I've got 16 ounces of water at 57 degrees. And 
Yeah, I'm using the uh, 20 ounce Ollie Camp aluminum pot. And I think we're ready to roll. So let's go ahead and fire this off. Okay, start. And uh, as soon as this uh, develops a little bit of, uh, of a bloom, I'll go ahead and show you what the flame pattern looks like. So I'll turn you off for now. Okay, there's your flame pattern for this burn. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn you off until we get close to a boil. Okay, getting close. Uh, we're at 211 degrees in uh, 14 minutes. So hopefully we'll bust the 212 here shortly. Of course, I hear the water roar and boil in there, but we're not at the temperature. <clears throat> I wonder if it'll jump over. Sometimes uh, some of these burners just won't, won't go to the 212 for some reason. But it's a rolling boil now, which for all intents and purposes, if you're making coffee or cooking a meal, or even purifying water, that kind of a boil, I'm sure you're good. Of course, nobody's going to bring a thermometer. Well, practically, you wouldn't practically bring one, or it would be practical <laughs> to bring a, uh, a thermometer into the wilds. So you'd just go with the royal boiling and call it good. So, yeah, I don't know if it's going to go there or not. Uh, yeah, looks like the fuel is still going good. So I have a suspicion that uh, we won't hit the 212, which, like I said, the thing is, it's we've got a royal, roy, roiling boil here, <laughs> so that's probably good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and let the, up oh, start to lose, yeah, I guess it's starting to run down on the fuel, so we'll go ahead and uh, call it. And uh, I'll go ahead and set up for the uh, next uh, test. Okay, this thing actually burned for uh, over 19 minutes with the one ounce of fuel. And that kept it at uh, 211 degrees right up until just the very end. But uh, anyway, so we're going to set up for the uh, next test. And this is going to be with one of my turbo rings. And I uh, wanted to mention earlier that... The turbo ring, I designed it to, uh, if you look in here, there's a little ridge right here that uh, that the turbo ring is was designed to sit on top of, so it does, so it nests, it nests in there very nice. So anyway, and this test is going to be with the turbo ring that has seven holes. This was my first uh, turbo ring test, and I say it did, did improve. Um, unfortunately, with my first test, I just used a cup of water, so I can't really compare apples to apples from the one I did yesterday on my own. So I'm going to go ahead, and that's why I'm redoing all the tests. But anyway, so let me uh, get set up for the next boil test, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm all ready to go. Again, I got one ounce of uh, yellow heat alcohol with the seven ounce or the seven hole uh, turbo ring. I've got 16 ounces of water at 58 degrees. And uh, we'll, I'll go ahead and fire this thing up. And once it gets blooming, I'll bring you down to show you what the flame pattern's like. Okay, there's your burn pattern. Not really the greatest view. <laughs> Pot stand kind of blocks it out, but there it is. So I'll get back to you when we get close to a boil. Okay, we're up to 210 degrees at uh, 12 minutes and uh, 56 seconds, almost 13 minutes. I hear the roaring boil. Hmm, one of this is going to go up. There it is. 1311. We actually got, uh, actually got to uh, 212. So I'll go ahead and let this run out and see if uh, how much difference it did on burnout. So anyway, it's not a wasn't earth shaking. I mean, this was 1311 with the uh, seven hole turbo burner and uh, 
1402 just to get to 211. So uh, I probably should have looked and see what the 211 temperature was to kind of compare apples to apples. But uh, <laughs> as far as uh, time performance, but maybe I'll go back and look at the video and see what that time was. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this run out. And uh, I'll tell you what that is when I come back as I get set up for the third test. Okay, now I'm going to set up for the uh, the last burn test, and this is with the 13-hole uh, turbo strip. Uh, this one with the 7-hole uh, uh, ran for about 21 minutes, so it looks like all these are going to run regardless of the turbo strip, no turbo strip. With an ounce of fuel, this particular burn is going to run for about 20 minutes, so probably good enough for field work. <laughs> Okay, I'm all set up for the 13-hole uh, turbo ring on the stove. Uh, again, an ounce of fuel. Go ahead and fire this off. And uh, we've got, again, 16 ounces of, this time, 59-degree water. It looks like the water temperature coming out of the tap at the house is going up a degree every few minutes because the, oops, the uh, first... The first boil that was a 57, the last one it was a 58, now it's up to 59. <laughs> I don't know if one degree is going to make that much difference uh, in the overall burn time. Anyway, let me uh, turn the lights off and we'll uh, take a look at the burn pattern for the 13 hole turbo ring. Okay, there's your burn pattern for the 13 hole turbo ring. Doesn't look a whole lot different than the others, <laughs> but uh, there it is. Okay, we're up to 10 in about 11 minutes and uh, 52 seconds. Looks like we're just about there. Hear it boiling inside the pot. There we go. 12 minutes and 9 seconds, we'll say. So that's a good minute faster. So the uh, with the uh, 13 hole uh, turbo ring, oops, I turn that off. <laughs> um, 13 hole turbo ring, we save almost a, a minute on that. So uh, I don't know why it keeps popping off. Well, we can fix that. Let's take that out. Okay, so. Uh, the, the turbo rings definitely improve their performance on the uh, on the uh, the little burner. So obviously that's why Tinny put them in his uh, stove. Uh, so I'll just uh, go ahead and uh, let the stove run out. It'll probably be about twenty. I'm I'll probably I might post that in the description because it'll probably I'll finish this up long before that happens. Uh, but anyway, just to kind of summarize. Uh, again, uh, one ounce of fuel, 16 ounces of water. I'll start between 57 and 59 degrees. Uh, the stove without the turbo ring, it never did come to 212, but I just gave it a boil time of 1402. The, uh, with the uh, seven hole turbo ring, uh, we came at uh, 13 minutes and 11 seconds. Actually, it came to 212 at 1259, so it was uh, about a minute faster than the uh, without the turbo ring. So it does not improve. And the turbo ring, which is on there, <laughs> with 13 holes, came to boil in 12 minutes and 9 seconds. So uh, definitely improves the performance of the uh, canister type stove. So definitely continue to use it. Anyway, uh, so that's that for this stove. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm,